friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and today is another Mythical Mail Monday. And today is a huge day of mail and books and bookish mail. And I'm just excited to get on into it. So today I have three things of bookish merch, a special edition book cover set, a special edition box, and two subscription boxes. So let's just start with the merch. First is my Fable Bands haul. Uh, my first Fable Band is this adorable top knot. It says Bibliophile. It's got cute little book stacks on it and it's precious and I love it. And I'm not sure I'm wearing it right, but we're, we're making do, you know? I don't know if it's supposed to go this way, maybe? I think I'm just making it worse. Yep, I'm just making it worse. I think that looks a little bit better. I need to learn how to properly tie this, but we're gonna roll with that for now. Um, so the other bands I got were this adorable little just book stack one, very general bookish. Another somewhat general bookish one I got is this Once Upon a Time one, but I think this can also go with like Sorcery of Thorns or A Curse So Dark and Lonely, that kind of vibe. And then we have our squad goals, and this is squad 312, I think it is, and it is Aurora Rising themed, and I love this purple. Next, I have a Night Circus inspired one, a Elven inspired one, which I think is like Lord of the Rings, but I just like the white and green vibes of this, and it's very natural looking. And last but not least is History, huh? And this is inspired by Red, White, and Royal Blue. And it's just so... Yes. <laughs> I will link my rep code down below as well as where you can buy all of these bands. They do sell out very, very quickly on the sale day. So make sure you are subscribed to the newsletter as well. Next, I have two packages from LitJoy Crate. Um, let's just open them on up. So the first package is the lord of the rings the shire pin and this is inspired off of their literary location pin collection but it is actually a lit joy lunicorns exclusive and it opens up so that you can see the shire and i just think that's adorable and i had to get it and the second thing from Lit Joy Crate is my sets of Shadowhunters trading cards. And I'm gonna be honest, I have not read any of the Shadowhunters, so I could probably only guess a few of these, but let's try. Okay, so these are the ones that I have like zero clue on. I think these are the Mortal Instruments, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Just say they're Bob and Krista. Next, I'm pretty sure this is Clary because I've heard a lot about Clary being a redhead. And this must be Jace because you always hear about Clary and Jace. And I'm assuming these are the two with the weird incest. Is that the correct thing? Um, that definitely turns me off from wanting to read the Shadow Hunters, but I'm going to push through and hopefully read it this year at least the first three of the mortal instruments series just so i can start reading the shadow hunters because i have a serious fomo problem and and i want to be part of the gang uh, but i've heard a lot of good things about the infernal devices so i really do want to get to that and then finally we have these two um so i think it's i don't know <laughs> is that as real i know he's a completely different series slash author but bad jokes so maybe all of these six characters are from the mortal instruments specifically next i have my nerdy ink special edition throne of glass dust jacket collection and it came in this beautiful decorative box with these beautiful like look at this box it's so pretty it's got Aurelia, is that how you pronounce it? I have not finished the Throne of Glass series. I haven't even gotten past the first book. I've read The Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass. I really, really need to keep reading. So I'm probably not gonna understand a lot of these pins, but here are the pins. They're beautiful. Um, I will do close-ups of them on my 
bookstagram if you want to go follow that it the link is in my description down below and we're gonna open these together for the very first time I can't decide if I want to put these ones on or keep the bookish box ones on or just buy a whole nother set of throne of glass and have two <laughs> sets with different dust jackets because I'm crazy. I ordered these first, completely forgot they existed and then ordered the bookish box ones, but these were really running late, which is why you're now just seeing them. I think I want these ones more on the books because they do actually look like covers. Um, I know that they have like the words on the spine and everything, so I think I do want to put these ones on the books themselves. So we've got Throne of Glass, The Assassin's Blade, and one thing I really like about their editions is it actually comes with like, I don't know if you can see it, but like fold lines so that you know where to fold the crease and it won't be messed up. Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and one of the reasons I'm leaning more towards this set as opposed to the bookish box set is because I don't have the Tower of Dawn cover for the set, so yeah. And last but not least, Kingdom of Ash. Then we also got these two beautiful prints, so we've got the one that is the inside of the box, and we also got this really pretty outside of the box. So overall, I'm very pleased with how the set turned out. I think I'm just going to put these on top of the bookish box ones for now. That way I'm not spending more money on another set. And then somehow um, I'm going to display the box for sure. And then if I want to take pictures of the other ones, I will just remove the dust jacket, take a picture, put the dust jacket back on of the bookish box set. So I think that's going to be my solution for now, especially because these show what the title is on the spine and the others don't. And I do have them facing so that like it's like this where the spines just because there's so many that they won't fit otherwise. Okay, so my next thing is the Illumicrate A Darker Shade of Magic box. And then I also have the July Illumicrate and the August Alcrate. I'm gonna move through these three pretty quickly. I'm not gonna talk too much about the vendors of each. I'll put that in the description below just so that this video is not 18 years long. So here is the Illumicrate exclusive edition for A Darker Shade of Magic. And here is what it looks like on top. A Darker Shade of Magic is one of my favorite series. I'm so excited for this. So here is the little spoiler. No, it's not a spoiler card. It's just the photo challenge card. Let's open her on up. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is our blanket. Here is what it looks like. So it looks like, oh, it's the four Londons. So we've got white London, black London, or red, wow, I know my colors. Red London, gray London, oh, it's Lila, and black London. It is a really cute blanket and it's super comfy. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And that goes perfectly with my Darker Shade of Magic pillow. Next is the dust jackets. Oh no, this isn't the dust jackets. I just assumed because of this thing. So this is kind of a tapestry wall hanging of the Essentosh and it's got Stasian, Kamarov, Kisimir, and a Lukard and it's in red London and that is a really cool tapestry. <laughs> Definitely be hanging that one up. Okay, next is the dust jackets. Dust jacket frenzy today. Okay, so the first one, ooh. Okay, so this is a darker shade of magic and it's an Enneagram so you can flip it either way and it works. I think I'm gonna want Kel on the front so I'll put it like that. Wow, that's really pretty. And it's like a glossy feel to it. A gathering of shadows. Oh my goodness. And finally, we have a conjuring of light. These are so good. Next, we have a beautiful pin. Holy cow, that is way bigger. It's like the size of my palm. Um, it says, 
there are many shadows in the night and it's Lila's mask that she typically wears. Next we have this thing in a little baggie and it's a little uh, glasses cleaner or like microfiber cloth and it is um, it looks like a Lucard and Lila learning magic. It's a Lucard teaching Lila how to do her magic. Next is this little box. Oh, we've got little figures. So we've got Lila, we've got Kel, we've got Rice, Holland, a Lucard, and B.E. Schwab herself. I believe the last thing in here is the book sleeve and it is so beautiful. Wow, I'm like tearing up because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I, what, I, well. Okay, it says, you two are circling each other like stars. You come asking after one another when only a few strides and handful of stars divide you. And I love that quote. I love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, I love that. And now time for the reveal of the Illumicrate exclusive, A Darker Shade of Magic. Oh. So it's a little smaller than like the typical hardback, but it is about the size of, I think, the A Darker Shade of Magic's. Um, it's red naked hardcover, and it's got Kel on the front with a silver foiling. It says Illumicrate Special Edition on the back. It's silver, almost gray, metallic-y foiled edges. And the end papers are incredible. Oh my gosh. And it's signed by V.E. Schwab. Could this get any better? No. Wow. <laughs> Love this. These two, obviously this is like the best, but oh my gosh, this book sleeve made my heart stop a little bit. <laughs> so that's all for that box. Let's open up Owl Crate next. And this is again the August Owl Crate. I was going to do a comparison between three of my book boxes because I think that they all have the same book coming. However, two of them are very delayed, so I don't think that's going to be possible. So I'm just going to open up Owl Crate now. It is what it looks like on top. Our spoiler card. All right, so the very first thing I'm pulling out is in this little box is, oh, a little star jar um, full of, it looks like push pins. These are definitely handy, but I wish it had been a little bit more, more, um, but they are definitely handy and I like the little star jar. Next is, the pin so we'll set that aside for a second next is a little clipboard it says you shine brighter than any constellation in the sky and according to the spoiler card this is inspired by aurora rising and it is super cute i don't know if i'll use it i'll try to think up something for it maybe i'll keep my notes for my videos on it next is ooh, is this a headscarf okay a dreamer bandana scarf so i think it's inspired by strange the dreamer or just like a general kind of no it has to be strange the dreamer there's a moth on it so um that's really cool um i'm afraid to untie it because it feels like it's already tied like perfectly but it says dreams choose the dreamer on it and i like the color a lot it's actually my very close to my college colors, so I can possibly get away with wearing this at work. <laughs> Next is the book sleeve, and it is just a really pretty, we are all stardust and stories, that's a stylus C quote, and it's really pretty. It's a little bit thin, but I do really like it. It's a definitely small book, book sleeve, but I really like the design of it. There's the B. There's the sword. Oh, the key is down here. That's really cool how they incorporated the elements. Next is in this little cardboardy, papery thing. And it is, maybe if I can get it out. Come on. 
Oh, a pin with a little star on top. I will definitely use this. Everyone needs a good pin. And the last thing in here is the book and it is beautiful. It is Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. Um, this is a Hindu inspired kind of mythology from what I remember. And it is signed. And then it has purple sprayed edges. Everything is purple. It's so pretty. That like deep purple. Um, and then the cover is now purple. The normal cover, if you don't know, is a yellowy. And this is purple. And then like a holographic purple almost on the side. Very beautiful. And then of course the pin to go along with it is just the little flower she holds in the cover. Next is the little author letter little owl crate magazine with the word search and author interview and vendor interview and all that good stuff and then the photo challenge and last but not least is our sneak peek of next month it is september box is a glorious haunting and in every september box we will include a cozy throw blanket okay we are finally down to our last items here it is the illumicrate subscription box this is actually my very first Illumicrate, so I'm excited. Well, I guess the special edition was my first one, but I'm excited regardless. Oh, flew right out of there, but here is what it looks like. It is We Are The Resistance. I love that they use this instead of the squiggly stuff. Okay, so the first thing I saw was this pair of sunglasses that say Rebel Scum on the side. And then on the side, it's almost like some sort of fantasy language or... Oh, no, it's... Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Um, it's like spaceships fighting each other. Next is in this very protected little box here. And it is the next book pot. I think this is inspired by Percy Jackson, if I remember correctly. Ooh, this is pretty. So it says celestial observations, stars, planets, and nebulas. So here's the front. Here's the back. And then on the back it says a comprehensive guide to viewing the galaxy and unlocking the secrets of the stars. I am not, um, I'm only on the third book of the Percy Jackson series. So if this is Percy Jackson, I don't get the reference, but it is still really beautiful. Next is a set of what looks like character cards. So we have Elias, Helene, Leia, and Marcus. And if I remember correctly, I think those are We Hunt the Flame character names. No, I completely lied. It is Ember in the Ashes characters. I really need to le read that series. It looks like it got a little bit of damage from the pin, but it is what it is. Next is the pin, and it looks like this. And it says, Queen Kills King. Next is a really pretty notebook, and it says, Never Allow Yourself to Believe You Should Be Silent by Samantha Shannon. Is this like Priory of the Orange Tree? I don't know if she wrote other books. Next is just a little button. Next is a keychain that says Baron's Books and Bobbles. Super small. Flip around. And finally is the book and it is Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. And I am loving everything about this edition. It is so pretty. So it's like purpley with hot pink, almost fuchsia sprayed edges. And it's just pretty. The back is gorgeous. It says every war has its heroes. This one has rebels. And this is just beautiful. And then we have a signed booklet. And I'm just happy to have this. So that was a lot, but that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments below or what you recently purchased, and I'll check in with you in my next one. Bye, friends.